hope he burns in hell. Facebook Live I was just on. Sorry about that, y'all. And I am going to be sitting on that floor watching this, watching this movie. Yeah, you are. Y'all, we are headed to Orlando this morning. I'm in St. Petersburg getting ready to uh, go to Orlando for my very first rehearsal. Yeah, her very first for rehearsal because she has a very, a very her first rehearsal just like I had my first day of Oh, really? That's a good way to look at it, Lauren. Lauren, you're so smart. And I can't see you guys because there's too much light. I know. So, good morning, y'all. I'm headed to Orlando this morning. I'm going to my... Hey, Julius, good morning. I'm headed to Orlando to my first rehearsal for my Harlem production of A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. That's coming up Saturday, November 4th. Jerry and I 
I actually did so yesterday I was rehearsing and he actually does the camera work for me like he'll film because I like to film the rehearsals and go back and review them and always critiquing to see what I could do better so yesterday it was like the rehearsal before like the real rehearsal I was actually preparing for the real rehearsal because I'm a perfectionist and I want to make sure that I'm just like you know what I'm saying I'm ready to go so we are headed out to Orlando this morning to meet up with my director Kevin Mack shout out to you it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be a ball um, I'm make I'm gonna make this show I'm gonna make it man this show is off the chain y'all it's gonna be great like it's gonna be great that's all I can tell you that's all I can tell you I can't tell y'all too much about the show not necessarily I'm not gonna tell y'all too much about the show you gotta come see it but I'm telling you right now the show the show is fire and the show is gonna get even more fireful because I got an esteemed wonderful director Kevin Mack that I'm very 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 happy about shout out to the DC Black Theater Festival uh, Zahara for putting us in contact I'm very excited like I said I'm just kind of updating because I know people may uh, just be tuning in um, y'all know it's y'all favorite dark skin chick first of all the world's first dark skin activist the inventor of dark skin Adam Strober and I'm headed out to Orlando I live in St. Petersburg so I'm driving to Orlando to meet up with Kevin Mack my director for a dark skin woman revenge for the Harlem production that is what I'm doing today marks the first day and I'm, I want to make sure I take y'all along with me as much as I can every step of the way of this journey today is the very first day of the official rehearsal for a dark skin woman's revenge the Harlem production and by the way save the date November 4th I'm gonna be in Harlem with my dark skin show a dark skin woman's revenge November 4th that's Saturday at the Mace Lee's documentary center on Malcolm X Boulevard in Harlem New York so I'm getting prepared I'm getting geared up yesterday like I said it was actually the, the first day where I did like a whole run through of, of the play and um, I like cursing for the rehearsal yeah <laughs> so yeah I'm just like I'm ready I'm ready y'all I'm ready I, even, I, I woke up this morning at like 4 30 and um, I didn't want to miss my run so I got in my run I ran um, what time it was I got out on, down the track about was about like five or something like that i had to I, I, y'all know i gotta get in my run every day um just to you know it, especially when i'm producing a play it helps me to keep my energy up because the play is very physical i'm playing five characters and by the way i'm on the interstate and i'm being very careful i'm on uh 275 headed to Orlando. it's gonna take about two hours to get there and we ride on schedule um i got lauren with me say hello I got Jerry with me. Say hello, Jerry. Hello. And we are, we headed to Orlando. It's up. I'm very excited, y'all. I'm very excited. Because the plane I came from so far, man. And Jerry, you know. Jerry, how many people did I have come to my first play? How many, you, do you remember? How many people I had come to my first play? Oh, uh, I can't recall. It was one. Oh, yeah, one. One. One guy, and I them home. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, they sent them home. Jerry, Jerry, I'll tell you, y'all. What was you laughing for? What you laughing for? You, you weren't even born, girl. You are not even born, and you up here laughing. She laughing at me. Because I had one person come to my plate. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, this play has come from so far. From, from, from having one person to getting it financed by, you know, my fans helping me with the financing, the production costs, to making it to the Atlanta Black Theater Festival. Shout out to the Atlanta Black Theater Festival because I was on, I was actually on the first Atlanta Black Theater Festival, to making it to the DC Black Theater Festival, to Tucson, Dallas, you know, I just been to a lot of places. The festival that I was in was in Atlanta and in uh, DC. In fact, I was just in DC in July. So, Raheem is in DC. You're absolutely right. So, um, y'all, just to, to even come from there, and finally make it to Harlem, which is like that's the mecca for a performer. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it really is. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Then I was just talking to a wonderful brother that I uh, came into contact with yesterday um, out in California, and he, he 
he does wonderful things in a black community. He's all about uh, black economic development. He has a real estate brokerage firm. And as we was talking, he saw, I was telling him about, you know, some of the things that I do about the play. And he was really excited. So I'm gonna be on his show. He has a show on, um, on uh, it's called The Powers Now. Y'all can Google it. I think it's also on Facebook. Um, and it's just it's just exciting y'all i'm just very very exciting but thank y'all for tuning in for those of you that are just tuning in i'm headed to orlando your favorite dark skin chick is headed to orlando i'm going to my first official rehearsal for the harlem production of a dark skin woman's revenge the first rehearsal lauren looking at me like what <laughs> So I'm driving and I'm going to show y'all. Hold on, y'all. The traffic. I'll show y'all the traffic out here. It's lightweight. Oh, girl, we ain't getting no McDonald's. The traffic is lightweight, you guys. Um, as you guys can see, I'm on 275 here. Yes. No, we going to Orlando, honey bun. We gonna be in the car for a little minute, child. Y'all see, um, this is 275, and the traffic is light, and I'm very happy that the traffic is light, and Jerry might put asleep back there. <laughs> you gotta go to sleep. Oh my God. So, I'm really, I'm really happy that the traffic is light, y'all. And, oh, that's what the police. They go to po they go to popo. I just seen the popo. I just seen the popo, y'all. I just seen the popo. Oh, that is not funny, honey. I just seen I don't need no tickets. But see, I don't be out here speeding. I don't speed. I do not speed. I am a very good driver. I go to speed limit. Um I've driven so many places around here. I drove all the way from California. I used to live in California, y'all. I drove all the way from California back to Florida. So driving is really when I when it's time for me to get it going, I get it going. So But Orlando is nothing from here. Like it's it's only two hours. You're not even going to be on the road. What are you shit, girl? What? You can't believe I'm in your pop-up. You're silly. You're silly. She's so silly. She's so silly. You called the police officer pop-up. I called the police officer pop-up. I'm not going to speed, though. I'll tell you that. Because I don't need no ticket. I got no money to be getting easy. I can be getting easy for my money. My hard earned money that I work hard for, I don't think so. I'm not for that. And shout out to you, Roy, if you're watching this. Roy is in the Orlando. He's my man. He's going to be making his best for him. Yes, I'm going to be on teeth. Oh! She said it's lipstick on my teeth, y'all. This girl is doing attention to detail. She pays attention to detail. She pays attention to detail. I'm so black this morning. I'm so black. Are <laughs> <laughs> you laughing, Lord? I didn't say anything. Of course you did. You have to get all of me. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. You're silly. You're silly. You're so silly. I didn't say anything. Hey, Terrence. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I didn't say anything. Okay, y'all, for those of you that are just tuning in, y'all know who it is already. It's your favorite dark skin chick in the whole wide world. Rashi the Strober, the world's first dark skin activist. Rashi the Strober, the queen of dark skin. Rashi the Strober, the inventor of dark skin activism since 1998. And I'm headed to Orlando. Oh my God, stop crossing me. Y'all, look at that water. Look at that beautiful water. Look at that. Anyway, I know y'all are looking at me.
November, uh, in Harlem, New York on November 4th with a dark skinned woman's revenge. Do you like my hair up, Terry? Oh, thank you. enough, beautiful enough, dark skinned, yeah, and um, I'm just excited, she's just not looking at me, say hi, you're so hi. cute, <laughs> you're so cute, you're so cute, no, you're cuter, you're cuter, you're cuter, <laughs> you're the cutest, I didn't say anything, what you mean you didn't say anything, <laughs> Lord, you're so, you're so cute, are you going to sit quietly while mommy's rehearsing? Are you going to sit quietly while mommy's rehearsing? Take everything, buddy. I don't know why. I don't know why she thinks everything is funny. Oh, I don't know why. Y'all know what? I cannot believe. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I can't believe, y'all, that my uh, internet signal is working so good. Y'all know when I come on here and I'm like on the road, it normally goes out after like or be in and out and it's actually stayed up the whole time like this is i'm, I'm, I'm so happy y'all i'm so happy happy early maybe that might be it so yes y'all i'm gonna be making these announcements maybe, periodically maybe, while i'm talking maybe the sign doesn't want to connect it off anymore maybe so so i'm gonna be making these but not the announcement <laughs> to update anybody that just tuning in periodically um like I said, I'm headed to Orlando. First official rehearsal for a dark skin woman's revenge, the Harlem production. I'm freezing. You can close that vent, Lauren. I already did that. Okay, I cut it down a little bit. How's that? Is that better? You need to drink some water. Your lips are kind of dry. She don't like to drink water. I'll be trying to encourage her to drink water. So yes, I'm gonna be in Harlem, New York, y'all. First time in Harlem. The first time in Harlem, November fourth. Saturday at the Mace Lee's Documentary Center located at 343 Malcolm X Boulevard. Get your tickets now. You do not have to be in Harlem to support it. You can support me by donating to the production fund. Just go to my website, RashidaStrober.com. RashidaStrober.com. Hold on, Lauren. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Your lips, you, you mean. At my website, you guys can find the link to the tickets for the Harlem show. At my website, you also can find, if you scroll down, the link to my GoFundMe. If you want to support the production, because it costs money, I just received 
a donation yesterday. Thank you very much. Shout out to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always say this is people's play. I got to get over in the other lane because the Orlando exit is coming up. And yes, I am paying careful attention, y'all. Um, yeah, we Orlando cannot, is coming up down here. We cannot afford a ticket. We sure can't. We cannot afford a ticket. Mommy does not want. The traffic is actually really light out here, y'all. It really is. I remember I did a play in um, back in, I think it was 2008 or 2009, uh, called Sweet Evelina. And it was uh, Keona Levine. Check her out. She's an excellent playwright uh, over in Orlando. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So I always enjoyed coming to Orlando um, to work. We, I think we were at the Orlando Shakespeare Theater. That's where we formed at. It was a, it was a performance reading back in 2008 or nine. I can't remember which year. But anyway, I just remember having a lot of fun coming over to Orlando. Um, just, you know, we just, we just did our thing, and you know, I'm just, I'm just so happy to be here. Excited to be here doing my play after all this time just putting in work and it's just a living it's just a living testament Boy, don't do that don't scream don't scream don't scream thank you don't scream don't, don't make me bite your nose she got the cutest little nose ever so why are you screaming <laughs> Okay, I-4, that's what it is. I-4. So headed to Orlando, guys. First official rehearsal for my play, A Dark Teen Woman's Revenge. Going to meet up with my director. His name is Kevin Mack. And we just, we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to get it going. We're going to get the show on the road, y'all. I get it. Well, the show is already on the road. Technically, literally, it's on the road because I'm on the road right now to Orlando, getting everything going, getting it started. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Lauren is just copying everything I say. Just it's everything hilarious. I say. It's hilarious. Let me get in. Let me get in. The right lane. The right lane. Should I stop to get some Starbucks? I should. Y'all think I should. I got my banana juice. So that might be a lot. You, you had something to eat this morning, what? I need something else to eat. And I did bring you some, uh, goldfish. some goldfish in here. Come on, babe. And I need some pizza. Oh, my God. Pizza. <laughs> Thank you, Terrence. Thank you. You cannot afford a chicken with a cow. You cannot do what? I tell her to get in them uh, fruits and veggies and stuff. And if she gets in the fruits, yes, the fruits and vegetables. If she gets in the fruits and vegetables, then it will make your skin nice. Just like I drink that, that, that <laughs> cabbage juice. The cabbage juice? You talking about the green juice I made? Yes. Yes, I know I you like that. I drink that. You sure did. Did you like it? Yes. I know. It's yummy. You like green juice. You're so cute. You're mommy baby. You're so adorable. I like all the green juices. You like all the green juices, Lord? Even I'm going to taste one of them. 
you are. Or maybe Teddy Bear. Okay, sometimes I forget. It's a, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of exits exits up here. Um, when you get up here around the the Orlando uh, I four. Orlando no, honey bun. We got about maybe I want to say a little under t uh, two hours, but it's not gonna be that far of a drive. And uh, no, no, a little bit sleeping. I slept. So oh, good last night. Well, I um, slept that good too. Yeah, I slept really good. I was All right, y'all. Wake up at night. I know you sleep good at night. For those of you that are just tuning in, y'all, I'm headed to Orlando for St. Petersburg to meet up with my new director for my play, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. His name is Kevin Mack. Today marks the very first day of the first rehearsal for my play a dark skin woman's revenge that is going to hit harlem november 4th saturday november 4th i'm going to be in harlem at the mace lee's documentary center and that is located at 343 malcolm x boulevard in harlem new york if you are in the area you better come to my show you best to come to my show i mean it because the show is going to be absolute fire and um i am very excited like I said earlier, I, like I said earlier. <laughs> Lauren is copying. I got Lauren doing me. She's copying everything I said. Say hello again. Say hello to everybody that's just doing it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> true. Yo, so y'all. Um, that's how I say hello. We on the road to Orlando. And it's oh. traffic. All y'all traffic. It's looking good out here. It's looking good. Y'all see it's, it's barely any traffic. It's looking great. A nice drive. Oh, we got a map. We got a map. We got a map. Yeah. I don't really, but you know what? I don't really need a map. Let y'all see the road. I don't really need a map uh, because I do have the GPS. I have GPS on my phone. But Lauren, that's a good skill for her because she's actually sitting here studying the map. So it's a good skill for her to learn. You know. Yeah, well, this doesn't even have any screen lights. Oh, it's beautiful out here, y'all. Let me show y'all. It's gorgeous out here. Look at that. Let's go anywhere around the world. If you put this on top of it, it does make a screen. It does? Yeah. And now Yeah, so if you know of anyone that lives in um, New York, invite them. And thank you to people that have. I've been seeing people doing that. People have been tagging people. Um, on my flyer for the Harlem production, people have been just so supportive. So I just want to say to everybody that have been supporting my work in whatever way that you've been doing it, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Um, once again, I'm going to be in Harlem performing A Dark Skin Woman Revenge. I play five characters, y'all. It's, um, it's a woman show. Like I said, I'm playing five characters. Wrote it back in 2006 so and just have we continuously get to fall developed. On the show, we will be able to get home faster. Well, we're not going home right now. We're not going home. We'll be going home for a while. We'll be going home for a while. Yeah, we, we got a way to go. I, 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 I gotta start, stop, stop, stop. Be honest, because I am honest. I, I woke up at 4 30 this morning, wrapped the cushion for the rehearsal at around 11 o'clock last is sitting up to copy everything I'm well, saying, y'all. Yes. everything I'm saying. Why are you copying everything I'm saying? Why are you copying everything I'm saying? Can you explain to the people why you copying everything I'm saying? Can you explain to the people why are you copying me what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't say anything. Nobody hears me. <laughs> well, at least we were able to, um, we losing a little bit of the connection, y'all. But it's been good though, because I think I've been recording for like almost 30 minutes with no interruptions. Anyway, I'm going to be in Harlem, New York, November 4th, Saturday at the Mace Lee's Documentary Center. Get your tickets now at RashidaStrober.com. Today marks the very first day of rehearsal. Headed over to Orlando. I'm on the road broadcasting live from I-4. Headed from St. Peter's. 
Pittsburgh going to Orlando to meet up with Kevin Mack, my director for the Harlem production of the Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. I'm very excited about that. And once again, y'all Hello. Hello. I got Jerry. Say hello, Jerry. Oh, and we are about to do this. I'm very excited, y'all. Super excited. excited y'all. She's excited. Lori, you're excited too. Why are you excited, Lori? Tell us why you're excited. Oh, that's why you excited? <laughs> you funny, Lori. You are so cute. Yeah, I wanted to rainbow. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's just a dog. It's just a dog. I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm very thirsty. <laughs> you know that phone while I get my water? Uh, Thank you, honey. Got your blankie, 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 blankie. I have it. She got her blankie, blankie, blankie. It's a zebra blanket. It's a zebra blanket? Yeah. Yeah. Let me get in this other blanket here. You do? Yes. Where's your other one? It's at home and it, and it looks like a curtain because Mama put it up there. I did. It put it up there for a curtain. I did. And you even put my favorite one up there. I did. Okay. I'm sorry. You're so cute. Well, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I know you love your blankies. They're so soft and comfortable. Yeah. So you're not cold anymore? No. You're not? Okay. Alright, darling. Okay. Okay, guys. Those of you that are just tuning in, y'all know who it is. 
some of y'all don't know who it is, but I'm going to tell you, it's your favorite dark skin chick in the whole wide world, the queen of dark skin, and Rashida Strober, the inventor of dark skin activism, Rashida Strober, that's right, your favorite dark skin chick in the whole wide world is getting prepared for the Harlem, hold on one second, Lauren, I'm getting prepared for the Harlem production, and I saw that, by the way, I still put it on your head, of a dark skin woman's revenge. Today marks the first day of rehearsal, and I'm actually on the road to Orlando. Um, it's about a two-hour drive from where I live, getting ready to meet up with my director, Kevin Mack. He has directed a slew of black theater. Very great director, so I'm very excited to be working with him, y'all. I'm very excited. I saw that. I can't look at it now because I'm driving. You gotta put it over there. Don't put it in my lap. Thank you, honey Um. So yes, if you guys are in the New York area, Harlem area, um, I even had a couple of people from Philly tell me that it was going to come as well. Um, as I understand, Philly is like a two-hour drive from New York. If you're in that area, come on down. I would love to meet you, the supporters, you know, the people that have been standing behind my work for all these years. I want to meet y'all and tell you thank you to your face, and I know you're going to absolutely love the show because we putting in the work to make it stellar. Understand me when I say that. Um, it's it's an excellent show. Everywhere I've taken the show, I've gotten awesome reviews. Um, and I just try my best, the best I can, humanly possible, to make it the best show that I can make it. Uh, because it's, it's for the people. And it's very important to me to produce quality work. So, yes, uh, I'm so excited. The play, I wrote it back in 2006. The original name was uh, The Joma Legend, Revenge of a Dark Skin Girl. And that was the, the copyright in 2006, which I still have with the Writers Guild of America. It's just been y'all that little history because it done came from so uh, far, you know what I'm saying? I done put in the work and just kept going. It's a part of this uh, dark skin activism campaign that began in 1998. Um, for those of you, some of you may not even know this, but I've actually written the most books and plays on anyone in the world on dark skin. I'm actually the first actress, author, activist to focus my work exclusively on dark skin with the plays, the books, the commentary, everything I've done around the public speaking, everything I've done around dark skin. In fact, I got a, a workshop coming up in November with a performing arts youth academy that I'm very excited about. Um, I just got a call uh, two days ago to speak to a, um, a group of students with a workshop I actually formed with two friends of mine, shout out to Swia Nadira Woodard, if you're watching this, she was one of the people. So, you know, it's, it's just like, I'm so excited about this because it's, it's come from so far. It's come from so far when I tell y'all, just like to just be making it to Harlem. You understand what I'm saying? And I remember people coming at me years ago saying, when are you going to come to New York? When are you going to people, people come on my, face, uh, my YouTube they be like, I can't wait to see the show in New York. It's like, man, the outpouring of love is like, man, I'm here, y'all. I'm coming. I'm, you know, we made it happen because it's just not me making it happen. It's the people that have been behind me that have been watching me and supporting me. We are making it happen. I just received a donation yesterday. Thank you very much. Thank you to everybody that's donated. You know, I'm just like so excited. Thank you to everybody that has done any type of work regarding helping to promote a dark skin woman's revenge, uh, the dark skin activist, uh, dark skin activism. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because again, I cannot do what I'm doing without the help of the people. And I'm very, 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 very grateful and thankful to that. So like I said, if you guys are in the New York area on November 4th, which is a Saturday, November 4th, save that date. I want you to invite your friends. I want you to bring along a friend. Shout out to Tanya that's out in New York. Thank you for supporting me. You've been supporting me for years. Thank you. We're finally going to get a chance to meet each other. I'm so excited about that. Shout out to Eja. I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so many people that's just been um, supporting my work for a long time. And I'm just, like, very, very excited about. Shout out to Mecca. Thank you. She's been doing a lot. She's been doing so much behind the scenes out in New York with the VIP. Um, I'm, I'm going to be actually on her show promoting. Um, shout out to WHCR. 
uh, the Voice of Harlem. I'm going to be on one of the shows in in, uh, on, in October. So, you know, I just got a lot of stuff going on here. Like I said, for those of you that are just tuning in, today marks the very first day of the official rehearsal for Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, the Harlem production. I am headed to Orlando, Florida right now, uh, which is about a two-hour drive away from where I'm getting ready to meet with Kevin Mack, my director for the production of A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge in Harlem. And we're about to do the first official, it's official, y'all. It's official, the first official rehearsal for my Harlem production. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. And Lauren, she was talking, I got Lauren with me. Um, she was she was copying everything I say, but she don't got quiet over there. Man, ask why you got quiet. What's, what's, what's up, what's up? She just got real quiet. Oh, now you laughing again. Your trip. So yes, y'all. Um, that's what we're doing right now. The road is clear. I left probably about forty-five minutes ago. Got on the road for um, uh, no honey bun. We got about I would say maybe about an hour and forty. And I'm so surprised that this phone is the signal is not going dead. Usually, I lose the signal. See, that's an act of God. Thank you, Lord. That's an act of God. That the phone has not gone dead. Because like I said, usually it goes dead when I'm like, driving and doing a lot. The, the signal, should I say, it'll go out. But not today. So it's meant for me to come on here and talk to y'all. It's meant for me to come on here and tell you guys what I'm doing and the progress of a dark skin woman's re revenge finally making it to Harlem. Can y'all believe that? Finally making it to Harlem. This is, you know what? It's so funny because... Not only did you know the show I finally got to New York, but I it, it, it's, it's so ironic that it coincides with me getting the first director. So the first director, the uh, the, the the first show in New York is being directed by my first time director. Like that's amazing. That's amazing. It's, it's truly amazing. And I think it was all meant to happen that way because everything happens for a reason. And um, I wasn't even planning it that way, to be honest with y'all. I've always been on the prowl for a director because I've been directing myself. But I wasn't, like, necessarily looking for a director for my Harlem show. It just came to me as a result of um, performing at the D.C. Black Theater Festival. And uh, uh, blessings to Zahara, uh, one of the directors of the festival, for putting me in contact with Kevin Mack. And he uh, read the script and saw a clip of the show and got excited about it and contacted me back after I had contacted him and he's like I'm on board and so I'm like I'm 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 very honored y'all y'all have no idea like it's this is this this is like a big deal for me considering where I came from and considering the fact that a lot of people was telling me that this was stupid. They were like don't what you doing? This is don't make no sense. You, you know but I, I just always felt in my heart that I gotta tell my truth. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I gotta, as an artist, as a activist, as a performer, as a writer, it's my responsibility to tell my truth. That's all I can do uh, at the end of the day. So that's why it's so important to me because something that people try to get me to suppress <laughs> is now, you know, the progress of it. It's just astounding. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's astounding. And I'm just very excited. Like, this Harlem show is probably going to be my last show of the year. I am open to uh, taking on some more bookings. But it's going to be my last show of the, the year, I would say, that I'm uh, self-producing. So if there's anybody out there that's interested in buying the show, I'm definitely open to that. I got a, one book I want to get out by the end of the year. It's called Inventing Dark Skin Activism, the Rashida Strober Story. So I'm currently editing that book, but because I have, you know, rehearsals and uh, the promotion of the, the Harlem show going on, it's kind of hard to work on that and give it my full attention. So my plan is to, after the Harlem show, is to go ahead and complete that book. But I am, with that being said, I am open to uh, performances. Uh, so if you are interested in, in, in me bringing a dark skin woman's revenge to your venue, all you got to do is contact me. It's very simple to do. You can contact me by going to my website, RashidaStrober.com, aka Queen of Dark and or you can contact me on Facebook or you can email me. 
at dark skin is beautiful campaign at gmail.com. Once again, that's dark skin is beautiful campaign at gmail.com. And we can go ahead and we can make that happen. Um, and once again, I'm only at this time, I'm only interested in doing uh, shows that where there are buyers uh, to the show. So I won't be doing any. Uh, shows that I produce this year. This The Harlem show is going to be the last one. Because I've actually done like a lot of like, man, I've upped the ante with this show. I did uh, Tucson, Arizona. Shout out to all my people in Tucson, Arizona. I did that show in March. Shout out to Kim out in Tucson, Arizona. The NAACP out in Tucson, Arizona for coming out to support me. Kevin uh, coming out of Seeky, of Seeky First Entertainment. Thank you for coming out to support me. Kevin, by the way, has a wonderful play that he's producing called Black Women Walking. Please check him out on Facebook. All you got to do is type in Black Women Walking. And um, yeah, so uh, shout out to, to the DC Black Theater Festival. I just did the festival in July and everyone that's a part of making that happen. So, you know, I'm going out with a, with a bang. I feel very, 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 very honored and privileged to be happy last self-produced show in Harlem, my off-Broadway production. And by the way, I also want to say thank you to all, all of the um, the black men. Yeah, I got to say that because they're special to me. They have graciously invited me onto their platforms to speak on the, the off-Broadway production of A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. Y'all have been so kind and so wonderful. Brother Sanchez, out there in California, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you are so awesome. Y'all can go check out his channel. Just type in Bro B R O Sanchez, um, and and his channel is gonna come up. I want to say thank you to O'Shea Duke Jackson. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me to promote. I want to I want to say thank you to the ABCN Network, the brother that runs that. Thank you. I want to say thank you to New Possibilities. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Straight Black Talk. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Ghazi um, in St. Petersburg of Black Power 96.3. I want to also say um, thank you to Brother Talik. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, it's so many of y'all. I thank y'all. I want to say thank you to Sister Keisha. Thank you. I just got, you know what, y'all have been, y'all, I just love y'all, man. I do. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart because for so long it took me to get people to, to just listen to what I spent years putting in the actual uh, the, 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 the promotion and some some would call it agitation um, in regards to getting, we are not there yet, Lauren. In regards to getting people to understand where I was coming from, speaking on the issues that I faced being a dark skinned woman. So that's why it's so important to me and I'm so excited and I'm so privileged and I'm so honored and I'm so humbled to finally be making it to New York because it speaks to it speaks to the work that I've put in since 98. Y'all y'all gotta understand I've been doing this since 1998. Uh, the work of dark skin activism through giving uh, public you know speaking lectures uh, whether it be at colleges, churches, uh, schools, libraries. I've been giving live performances. I've been also involved in uh, working to help homeless people, working to help just people in need. You understand what I'm saying? To make life better for people and looking at this issue of, uh, of dark skin and how it relates to socioeconomic issues. This is something that I've been doing for years, since 98, y'all. Dark skin, I've been a dark skin activist since 1998. And then just taking my art form, God has given me the talent as a performer, as an actor, to be able to utilize that in form of the performing arts through the play of Dark Skin Woman's Revenge and then writing the books. There is a book version of a Dark Skin Woman's Revenge that everybody should have. Um, you can get that at RashidaStroba.com as well, aka QueenOfDarkSkin.com as well. But just to be able to take, use my gifts and talents to be able to change the world. That's what it's been all about for me. That's what that's what dark skin activism has been about since 1998. And it's just culminated into all this, all this great work that I've been able to do. And it's a blessing from God, y'all. I'm so freaking excited. Once again, those of you that are just tuning in, I'm on the road to Orlando 
uh, I'm be a little under two hours. We'll be there in about two hours. This marks the very first rehearsal for the Harlem production. The Harlem production, y'all, that's big. The Harlem production of a dark-skinned woman. I finally made it to New York. I am so excited, man. I got fans in New York that's been my fans for years, man. And, and for so long, you know, just kind of being the type of person naturally to, and I know some of y'all might not believe this, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm naturally an introverted person. Uh, just kind of being a, a, to naturally kind of push myself back, hold back, because I was afraid, you know, and, and not really walking in the fact and in the truth of and accepting that, hey, I got fans out here. I got like real fans, people that come from far to see my show. And that, that you know, that was proven to me when I went to the DC Black Theater Festival. Shout out to my brother, all the way from North Carolina. He drove all the way from North Carolina. Shout out to my brother, Keith. He drove all the way from Virginia just to see my uncle. Well, your, your uncle Keith and also a band Keith. Keith, Typhoon Howard, if you're watching this, shout out to you. They came all the way from far, you know, and it's like, wow. You, so I embrace that. I walk in that now because I don't, you know, I put in the work and I humbly embrace it. You understand what I'm saying? So right now I'm on the road to Orlando, on the road to Orlando, Florida, to the very first rehearsal for the production of Skin Woman Revenge in Harlem, New York, coming up on Saturday, November 4th at the Maysley's Documentary Center. And that's located at 343 Malcolm X Boulevard. Ain't that something, y'all? I'm one of my favorite people, my top five favorite people. I'm actually premiering my show on Malcolm X Boulevard. That's big. That's big. That's huge. Oh my God, that's huge, y'all. I got a picture of the great late Malcolm X on my wall. He's calling me. All right, y'all, back. Lost the signal there for a second, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm back, y'all. I'm on the road here to Orlando, Florida, from St. Petersburg, Florida. It's about a two-hour drive. Headed to the first rehearsal with Kevin Mack for my play, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. Not yet. The Harlem Show. I'm getting prepared. I'm getting geared up for the Harlem show. A Dark Sea Mom's Revenge taking place on November 4th, Saturday at the Mace Lee's Documentary Center. Yes, 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 yes. My first rehearsal. I'm excited, y'all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Is it Nguyen? Yeah, I'm back. I lost it. I am starting to lose the signal, y'all. Sorry about that. I am starting to lose the signal. Thank you. This is historic, y'all. It, it actually stayed on here for an hour. I'm losing my live signal, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and end this live because now it's starting. But once again, you guys can catch me. Not yet. You guys can catch me in Harlem, New York on November 4th at the Maxley's Documentary Center. 343 Malcolm X Boulevard. Get your tickets. Go to RashaStrober.com now. Donate. I need donations. I need money in order to produce this show. It costs me, y'all. So support me. Y'all see I'm doing. Y'all see I'm on the road. Give me my first rehearsal for my Harlem show. And I'm going to be documenting this production every step of the way as much as I can. Letting you guys know what's going on. So go support. Go donate right now. Everyone that donates, by the way, will get an electronic copy of my book, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. Go donate, all right? Um, like I said, I believe that this live is, is probably going to go out because I'm starting to lose the signal right now. So the next time it goes out, I'm going to go ahead and end it. But please support the work that I'm doing, y'all. The thing that I really need support in right now, like I said, is with production costs. Um, and all you have to do is very simple. You can donate in any amount. In any amount, guys. Um, go to my GoFundMe, RashidaStrober.com, and you can scroll down. That's my website, actually. You'll scroll down on my website, and you're going to see the link. Click the link, and just go donate and help me produce. Y'all see what I'm doing. Y'all see it right here, live. I'm live on the road to Orlando, getting ready for my very first production of A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, the very first rehearsal of A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge for the Harlem production with my new director, Kevin Matt. I'm headed out to Orlando right now 
we probably like an hour and 30 minutes out. We're about to do this. We are about to do this. And I am so excited. And I just want to say thank you guys. And once again, like I said, go donate. If you have not donated, if you, if you have donated, everyone needs to support me. Everyone needs to support a person that is not only um, talking about it, but is actually doing it. And I have produced show after show after show, um, letting you guys know that I'm real about it. This is what I do. You understand? This is, it don't get no better than this. I'm the first artist, actor, activist, author to focus my work exclusively on dark skin. And I've been doing it since 1998. It's been a long, hard road. Yes, it has. But I'm still here and I'm making a lot of progress. And I'm asking you guys to support this Harlem production. All right, go to my website. Like I said, it's RashidaStrober.com. All you got to do is scroll down and you will see the link to the GoFundMe and just donate. If everybody watching this video right now donated 10 bucks, let's say an average of $10, um, that would put me so much closer to my goal, which is $5,000 for this particular budget. I want to make this budget, make this the show. I want to make this show go off just, I mean, like super awesomely y'all and I want to make you guys be a part of this so go donate I just received a donation yesterday I want to say thank you I'm very 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 grateful um, all of the monies go towards uh, thank you Michelle I appreciate that I really do thank you very much I appreciate that you know when people tell me uh, their feedback on what I'm doing you understand I, I really really appreciate it and it's very encouraging as well because this work is not easy okay I don't want y'all to think for one minute that it's easy I know I come on here and y'all may think by the way I'm talking that it's easy but it's not you got to be dedicated and committed and I have to I have to produce show after show after show I have to make it go that is why I'm saying to those of you that are in support of what I do, the one thing that I really, look at the cows over there, the one thing, I love the country, y'all, the one thing that I really do need the support of the people is to get behind the supporting me financially. Go to the website and support financially, okay? Once again, you can go to RashidaStrober.com, RashidaStrober.com, and scroll down Go to the bottom of the website. You're going to see a GoFundMe link. And simply go donate. And once again, whatever amount you give, I will be sending you an electronic copy of my book, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. See, some of y'all have not donated yet. Some of y'all have not. Some of y'all are supporters. Some of y'all have not donated yet. Now is the time to donate to help me with this production of, of my Harlem show that's coming up. So go donate. I highly encourage every last one of you to go donate. This is so important. It's so important. It's so important. I can't even. Let me tell you something. These shows, as a self-producing artist, you have to, you have to really, 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 really come with it and bring it. Um, when I talk about production costs for a play, and see, I'm doing mine on a, on a, on a on the real low budget end. I mean like the the real low budget end. And that's the lowest budget for a production is about five thousand dollars. You understand? So I'm really like working like on a super duper shoestring budget. And um I have been producing the show out of my own pocket. I was doing it up until I would say about twenty fourteen when God bless people to come in my path he sent angels I'm gonna call them angels to come along and start assisting me with with making these productions happen after they saw that I was for real about mine after they saw the work that I had actually put in the books that I've written um, the shows that I'd already produced the the, the years of uh, free performances of free speaking engagements that I've done at churches at schools in the community people saw that and they started to donate their money and I want to say thank you once again. I appreciate that. And that's what I'm asking people to do. I'm asking people to duplicate what others have saw. The value 
for you and when saw the value and they gave their money, you know, I'm asking other people, Juicy, go to that GoFundMe once again. All you have to do is go to my website, which is RashidaStrober.com and donate. <laughs> Lauren's like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? That's the name of a movie. Are we there yet? We are not there yet, honey bun. Are you ready to be there? Yes. She's ready to be there. <laughs> I am too. But we'll be there shortly. I mean, um, oh, the I know. But yeah, y'all. We I'm, do need some sleep. We need some sleep. I think you're right. We do need some sleep. I am kind of sleepy. That's why I said I need to go to Starbucks. And get me a little um, small, teeny, teeny, I like a little small black coffee with nothing in it. Because it's nice and strong. Let me get out of this lane. Um, but it's a nice drive out here though. It's, the traffic is super light. So it's all good. It's definitely all good. But yes, so please everyone, please, please go to my website. RashidaStrober.com aka queenofdarkskin.com and donate to the Harlem production of A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. The link is right there. Once again, if you donate in any amount, you're going to get an electronic copy of my book, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. And I know y'all want the book, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. I know y'all want that book. So go ahead and donate. And I'll get that over to you as soon as possible. And you're going to enjoy it. And again, for those of you that can't come to the play, you can definitely, oh, Orlando is 34 miles away. Huh? Who is that? Oh, she's, that's one of the people that is a part of the, um, the movie. One of the voiceovers for the movie. So, yes, I want you guys to support, support, support. You are supporting a stellar, stellar product. You are supporting the original the original world's first dark skin activist, the original that put the issue of dark skin on a map relentlessly, never stopping, continuously going since 1998. I've been doing this. Um, I have five books that I've written and counting, three plays and counting. A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge is the Harlem production, the latest play that I'm, I'm, I'm putting out there for the world to see. Uh, once again, that's taking place on November 4th, which is a Saturday at 6.30 at the Mace Lee's Documentary Center in Harlem, New York. Get your tickets at RashidaStrober.com. Once again, get your tickets at RashidaStrober.com. Invite your friends. Uh, if you are in anywhere near the, the New York area, you need to come to see the show. If you have friends anywhere in the area, get on the phone, get on your computer, email them, um, text them, let them know about this show. Call them on the phone even. I like to call. I like to, I like I actually like to talk to people on the phone. Sometimes I don't get a chance to talk as much as I want, but I that's really what I really prefer to do. Texting is great. Yes, I like to just talk to people in person about what it is. I'm that's why I come on to my Facebook lives because I like to talk directly to the people. So yes, I'm asking you guys to support, support. There's so many ways that you can support. And like I said, the main way that I really, really, really need support right now is with the production costs. So all you got to do is go to my website, RashidaStrober.com, RashidaStrober.com, scroll down and you will see the GoFundMe donation link is right there. I encourage everybody to go donate right now. All right. Do not wait. Do it now. You feel it's on your, because I know some of y'all, it's in your heart to donate. I already know that. And when it's in your heart to do something, you got to just act on it. You just got to just go ahead and do what you need to do. And just do what's in your heart. You understand what I'm saying? Um. So, yeah, y'all, we out here in a part that looks like the country right now. It's, it's real country looking. Let me show you guys. Let me see if I can put the camera on it. There we go. Y'all see all the, the bush? Nothing but bush here. And as you can see, once again, the traffic is light. We are not there yet. We will be there. Jerry, what time we got? What time we working on? Look at that traffic. It's so, I love when the traffic is. What time is it? 
Oh, 9 to, oh, we on good time. We're supposed to be there at 10.30, but it's 9.21, so we are on excellent, excellent time here. Yeah, we are on excellent time. Do I see a Starbucks? Let me know if you see a Starbucks on one of them signs, because I'm telling y'all, I'm about to stop the Starbucks. Forget that. Forget that. I had said I wasn't going to stop the Starbucks, but forget that. Forget that. I'm finna stop the Starbucks because I'm sleepy. I need a little jet black dark coffee to wake me up. Lauren, what you laughing at, girl? <laughs> she over here laughing. What are you laughing at? <laughs>